just like the title of the video says today's video we're doing a reflex install this little box or i wouldn't say little it's kind of little but we're going to install this on 335 carlos's car which is single turbo on three kit with bmp port injection so he originally had jb4 on the car um, which had some issues so now we're switching over to reflex which in my opinion is a way better option anyways and we're also gonna install a new ethanol sensor because he does want to run flex fuel and things like that and yeah so we have the ethanol sensor here it comes with new lines so you can connect it to your stock line or if you have aftermarket line going back all the way to your low pressure pump that's an option as well then we have a fitting which i'm not sure where it goes to yet so we'll figure that out then we have connectors to connect all the wiring we have the ethanol sensor uh, harness which goes all the way down to uh, where your connection is from the high pressure line or I guess low pressure line to the plastic line which I'll show you guys in a bit and you have the universal install harness which this would connect to your DME I believe and then you have the injector harness that goes to your injectors and the reflex itself. So this is what the harness looks like. It has all these outputs for different things, which I'll show you the functions in a little bit. And then you have the harness for the injectors. So we'll plug this guy in and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. So the harness is in. All you have to do is just plug in your six injectors, obviously. Uh, <coughs> This is a top feed manifold. If you have a bottom feed, just you know, put the harness underneath and plug them in from underneath. And then I have the wire running under the cover and then going into a DME box, which is right here. And then I already plugged it into the reflex, which is sitting in just that slot. And then when we do actually do the loading, a tune, and testing, and whatever the case is, we have to plug into that USB-C cord. And then also we have all these outputs that we have to plug in and this, which is gonna be going into this harness, <coughs> like so. And then this harness has your T-map, crank, cam, and then obviously I believe red is power, black is ground, and I have to still figure out what the orange and this twisted wire is. So let me look it up on my phone and I'll show you guys what the schematics or diagram looks like. So as far as the wiring goes, you have all these pins which we're not worried about because we have a plug and play harness then you have E chassis N54, E chassis N55, F chassis N55, S55, you have B48, B58 uh, and then you have G chassis B58, B48 and you have A90 Supra um, for our purposes obviously we're going to use the E chassis N54 since this is a N54 E chassis. Um, <clears throat> so as far as wiring goes, we have red main switch 12 volt, orange is five volt optional, which we're not gonna put on. Black is ground, yellow is CAN bus high, green is CAN bus low, uh, which we're not worried about it because it says in development, which I'm sure they're gonna integrate into something with the whole entire car. So what we need is the intake cam sensor, crank sensor, and a map sensor. And for that we have pin two for power, pin 11 for 
Uh, intake cam sensor, crank sensor is pin 29, and map sensor is pin 10. As far as wiring goes, so they do provide you with these uh, quick connectors. Um, so they give you a one, two, three, four, and then five, but I didn't use the fifth one. So <clears throat> for you to wire it in, you need to pull out this connector, which is the biggest uh, connector that's on the DME. And it goes to this big connector, which slides into it. And then you have this white one, uh, the gray and black on the other side of the DME doesn't get used. So I left that alone, but you have, let's see, this is pin 29 and pin number 10 for your crank and map sensor and then you have your cam sensor on this connector and that is pin number 11 13 12 yes 11 and they're all yellow wires so you, you kind of have to pay attention so you don't plug in to the wrong um, pin so after that you just have your where is it power and then you have your ground which I'm just going to this OEM location around right there in there. And the stock harness connects to that as far as the ground goes. But besides that, everything else is good to go. So I'm gonna put this connector back in and then show you guys what it looks like in here afterwards. All right, so all the wiring is tucked away. I plugged in the DME. This harness and this harness, there's two different harnesses, so I plugged both of those in. Then zip tie this, because it, it does have excess wire, so we don't really need it. You can tuck it away, do whatever, but I also zip tied these three because they're close to each other. Ground is separate by itself. Um, and then also I plugged in the ethanol sensor, which goes to red, black, and green wire because all the other outputs are different type of outputs because you have green, black, and orange you have red and blue red and blue and you have, you have purple and red so the ethanol sensor has its own plug you just plug it in wire it through here go this way and the plug is right there I actually I already routed the ethanol sensor because I had the plate off. So I'll show you guys what it looks like on the bottom. So the ethanol sensor um, line is right here. I have the ethanol sensor up there. Uh, you do want to like zip tie it to something or screw it into something. Um, and then the line that goes upwards connects to that T where it goes to the port injection and your high pressure fuel pump. So as far as down here, self-explanatory, just plug in the lines and then put the sensor in line and make sure you just plug it in and everything else is done up top as far as the DME goes. And this is the stock line that gets removed and that's where you put the flex fuel sensor or the ethanol sensor. After all the wiring is done and the fuel lines and everything is tight, you want to make sure to test the car, aka start the car, make sure it runs fine, doesn't give you any faults as far as low fuel fuel pressure or anything DME related. So we're going to go ahead and start this car. car starts doesn't throw any faults doesn't give you a check engine light or anything like that so should be good to go just make sure to check all the fittings on the ethanol sensor to make sure that there's no leaks um, because that would be pretty bad you don't want this thing to catch on fire while you're doing a simple and easy install as far as testing goes um, the only thing I would absolutely recommend is obviously checking for fuel leaks because you never know what could happen. I mean, you could be like, it could be a loose fitting or something like that. And you don't want anything catching on fire, like I said before. 
also <clears throat> you do want to tug on these wires all of these to make sure nothing comes off nothing you know arcs or anything like that or none of the wires are touching i mean it shouldn't touch theoretically as far as like bare wires because everything is is isolated but you want to triple check to make sure everything is good and then double check the ground as well um if the reflex for some reason doesn't want to turn on or you're getting some kind of a weird fault with the reflex itself i would go back into the wiring and double check your power ground and make sure all the uh outputs as far as cam sensor crank sensor and uh map sensor those are all good because you don't want this thing to you know have wrong info and the car blows up so yeah but as far as that goes everything else as far as the reflex goes is all on the computer they do have all the instructions on there as far as what to do what to install and how to do an update as far as the firmware update on it because most of the units are just sitting on the shelf so they would need a firmware update which is what we're going to do next and then the tuner is going to take over the whole entire uh, process this video is sponsored by KFC JK what are we doing? we're going to upload the reflex files to my car yeah, so uh, we have an issue with Wi-Fi, so we're trying to do some hotspot bullshit. Bullshit. Um, but we'll show you what all goes into as far as loading the reflex file and shit like that. So stand by. All right, tell us, tell us what to do. What's the first step? <laughs> Don't buy an M54. I mean, that's a given. Now, um, so if you go to Boda's website, they have all the files you need right here for the reflex. Can't really see on the... Uh, Can't see because I have shitty... Well, not that. It's just on video and the screen is not going to show. Let me pull up brightness up. Yeah, it's like all the way. It's like pulsating, but whatever. Just explain by with words. So right here, like if you go to the website, there, there's a tab here, obviously, there you go, like a Dropbox. So all these are the firmwares that you need for the reflex, like all the updates. So that's so, just because the reflex has been, I guess, in the box and it has never been updated. So, yeah. so obviously these are the OG numbers, serial numbers, but if you buy it recently, you're going to have to use these, this serial number right here. So those are the newer re uh, yeah. serial numbers, you just have to download all those files. And so, follow instructions. I think Motive has their... Yeah, Motive has all the instructions. Yeah, um, so just follow those instructions as far as that goes. But there's a, a bin file, an ADX file, and an XDF file. I know that's confusing, but you also got to download this app. So there's two apps, correct? Yeah. One is the bootloader, and then and the other tuner, one is the Tuner, tuner Pro. Pro RT. Yeah. So two um, softwares that you would need first one would be the motor reflex uh, firmware bootloader so and then the one. second one is the what is the other one called the tuner pro rt tuner pro rt and that bootloader uh, motive off uh, they give you that, that as well on the website yeah can't really see yeah. very well but it's what it looks like like i said all the instructions are on yeah. motive's so like, website if this was connected to my car, this would say connected right here. And then you would go right here, file, import, import firmware image. And then you import the file that Motive has for the reflex itself. So that's the bootloader portion. So after you, after you upload that, it should say upload successful on, the, on this right here. And then you can X out of that. Okay. And then that's when you go to Tuner Pro RT. And in order to connect the Tuner Pro, you, you, collect, you click this one right here. Initialize emulation hardware. And that connects to the car. Okay. So then that then after it connects, it's going to say... Um, hardware. Yeah, reflex, motor reflex. And it's going to say ready. Okay. So after that, you load all your files on top. 
So your first one is, so I have a custom one from CD919, he sent me one. So then you would go file, open bin, and then it should pop up once you save it. So this is the bin file right here, you just open it. Okay. And then it'll pop up here. And then for the XDF file, you go to XDF right here. And then, uh, is that import? import? Yeah. And then it'll pop over here. Well, it should have in your download. And then it'll go up here again. And then ADX file. And then ADX, you go to acquisition, load, and then right there, your ADX. Mine is ADX all because I have Reflex Plus. Okay. So you load all these three files, then what? Then after that, once it's connected, you just click this up, up arrow. You see it says upload current bin to emulator. Yep. So then you click that and it's really fast. And then it'll say upload successful at the bottom. Right here, it'll pop something green that says upload successful. Okay. So. So that's after that's done. After that's done and everything, so reflex should be set up. And then that went, that, now you get your, um, your tune from your uh, tuner. And then now, we, now you can do the MHD tune on your car. So you don't have to, essentially you don't have to touch this system ever again. Unless there's um, a new update. Yeah, unless yeah. there's an update. But everything else is done through MHD because yeah. it's all integrated together, which makes it a lot easier. So, Unlike, what, AIC, where yeah. you have to go in a box every single time and then pull out the wires, pull out the DME stuff, which is like all of this. You have to do that every single time with AIC in order to flash the car with a new file for the port injection alone. So Reflex makes it a lot simpler, easier, and faster because you never have to open the DME box unless there's an update for the firmware itself. So we're gonna show you guys how to see and make sure that Reflex works and all the wiring is correct and making sure that the car is running correctly, everything, all the values, it will show on the screen. You wanna have everything loaded up like MHD and all the Reflex files. You go back to Tuner Pro and then you click these double arrows. So that gives you all your live data. So then after you click that, it should say connected to the car. So right there. Yeah. So then you click right here, show data list views. And then this, this screen should pop up and you click all data. So now you get all your parameters. So right now I don't have the car on, but it shows my battery voltage, my temperature and all that stuff. So if I were to turn on the car, it should give all the parameters. All right, well, let's turn it on. So yeah, now it's here, my RPM, my camp heartbeat. So these are the two items you look for. That's how you know your reflex communicating with the DMV. So then this integrates your crank sensor. Yeah. And cam sensor, this is the way to so see. You can diagnose your injector to see if it's failing or if it operated correctly. So it just gives all the parameters, but once this pops up, that means you're good to go. And then look, it shows the ethanol content for Reflex Plus. So I'm E80 right now. Practical, practical. Uh. <laughs> So, we didn't really go too much in depth with the uh, software and things like that. Obviously, we can't really show you because on the screen it looks really shitty versus like seeing it on your own. Uh, but yeah, as far as testing the system, you can definitely test it with, you know, the computer itself because you can plug in the USB cord and then see all the values, make sure all the values correspond to whatever is going on with the car which means like if everything is good on the screen that means all your wires are correct everything is working fine and the reflex is on so that's a good way to test the car to make sure before you you know get into making a lot of power and doing all kinds of you know logs and things like that you can go ahead and test it before so we're gonna go ahead and go and test drive the car uh, 
Um, we also have a new revision for a tune, so we're gonna test that out and then see how the car reacts to it. We're on 30% duty cycle through GFB because it, it is independent from MHD, so you do have to set your boost to whatever desired boost you want. You can do boom boost if you want. <laughs> But we're here set to 30% duty cycle, which is about 1920 PSI right now. Because this is in a, still in a logging process, I guess. So once we get through all of it, then he'll turn up the sauce. Yeah. So let's hear this T51R mod. Mm -hmm. 